it's here, the neural networks from scratch in Python from myself and Daniel Kukiela. It is over 650 pages of pure Python goodness where we essentially are creating our very own deep learning framework in Python, really with the purpose of learning truly how neural networks actually work. The idea here is not so you can make your own deep learning framework you know, in Python and then use that going forward. Instead, it is just simply to get an understanding of how deep learning works so that when you use a framework, you actually know what are these, these parameters that I'm changing here, what, what do they actually mean? And when things don't work, what might you consider changing to get things to actually begin to work? So the book comes in two physical forms. You've got the hardcover version here that you see. We also have a soft cover version if that is what you are after. Uh, and then finally we have the ebook version. If you get any version, uh, any physical version of the book, you also get the ebook version, but you can also buy the ebook all by itself. The ebook also comes with the ability for you to ask questions or make comments in line with the text of the book. Uh, so if you're having problems anywhere along the way, uh, you can you can do that, and I think that's probably the best way to get help with with the content of the book. The hardcover and softcover version of the book both come in full color, which is uh, very useful both for the many charts and diagrams that we have in the book. Also, all charts and diagrams, or at least most of them, wind up having also QR codes, which you can scan with your camera on your phone. Most relatively recent phones, will the camera app will just automatically recognize that and allow you to go there. Otherwise, you can also download apps from the App Store, which will um, use your camera to read QR codes. But these will link to actual videos of animations and so on. So if you're having a hard time understanding or you just want even a more full understanding of what we're trying to show, uh, we do have those all through the book. Also, you could just go directly to those URLs. Now, beyond having color for the diagrams and charts, we also have color because this is a programming book. And to make it easier to read the actual syntax of the Python language, that is why we have syntax highlighting in basically every editor that you might use. Uh, so the same thing is true here. We have synt full syntax color highlighting for all of the Python code, which for one, just reading it and understanding it, that makes it a whole lot easier than if it had been black and white. And then also it gives us the ability. So for example, as we make reference to various Python objects, so for example, as you're reading this text, you get to is instance, what are we talking about? You can, well, you can find it so much quicker because of the syntax highlighting. So anytime we're referencing Python object, uh, we try to use the uh, the actual the actual syntax highlighting that would be in reference to that object, just so it's even that much easier to go back to the code and find it. So now coming to the table of contents for the actual book and what it covers, uh, we obviously have a brief introduction to neural networks. What are we actually trying to do here? And very quickly, we're getting into coding our very first neurons. We begin to code a layer of neurons and have multiple layers of neurons. Uh, then we get into activation functions. Not only how do we code them, but what are activation functions? Why do we actually use them? Um, and going over this cons both conceptually and via code to show how that actually works. Calculating network error with loss. Again, showing all of the mathematics and then the Python implementation of that math. Then we get into optimization, which really is the challenge, the hard part of neural networks. Um, so first we just kind of introduce the concept of, of optimization and, and really why is this so hard? And essentially it's we're, we're attempting to, to optimize um, a very large function with millions of parameters. So um, that's actually, that turns out to be quite the hard problem. Uh, so then we get into how this is actually done with derivatives, more specifically partial derivatives with these huge functions. Uh, then how do we backpropagate those things? And at least initially the concept of backpropagation at its most basic form is going to be using the stochastic gradient descent optimizer. But there are other optimizers, including variations to vanilla stochastic gradient descent. Um, so specifically with something like momentum, but then we also get into Adagrad, RMS prop, and of course the atom optimizer. Um, after we get through the optimizers, we talk about testing out of sample data, validation data, training data. Beyond that, we get into regularization. So if the network is having a hard time learning, a lot of times regularization techniques can uh, significantly help with generalization. 
Uh, we also, up, kind of up to this point, we're doing classification, specifically with multi, more than two classes, but we also cover binary logistic regression, regression, um, and then also basically up to this point, we've, we've, we, it's not really a framework until we get to the model object. And this is kind of the point where we kind of convert everything to be uh, very, very object oriented programming. And pretty much at this point, I would say we have a deep learning framework. We cover a realistic data set because up to this point, we, were at, we use a kind of a generated data set just to make learning easier, testing quicker, and so on. Realistic data sets are usually quite large. We use neural networks with very vast data sets rather than small data sets. We would use different forms of machine learning if the data set, in most cases, if the data set isn't very big. But at some point, we actually want to learn, okay, we've got a realistic data set. How do we break this data down to become input into a neural network? Uh, then we go through model evaluation as well as saving and loading models. So if you have a model that you really like, you want to save it. Or during training, if at any point you need to pause and come back later, that is how you can do it. Or if you want to save checkpoints along the way, um, you need to be able to save. And then if you want to use your model, you need to be able to load the model. Then we cover prediction and inference. And then, of course, uh, at some point the book must end. <laughs> so the book ends at a little over 660 pages. So there you have it, the Neural Networks from Scratch book, now available. Thank you to all of our pre-orders and especially the Kickstarter backers who backed the book really before there was almost any content available for you guys even to read. So I really appreciate that. I appreciate everybody who has taken part in reading the draft document, asking all your questions. You might not think the asking a question is actually helpful to us, but it really, really was Um I said it before, I'll say it again. I think this book is already in like a V2 situation just simply because of how many people have been through this book, how many questions have been asked, um, all the edits and changes that have been made. We have changed so much of the content in this book to in an effort to make it more clear, more understandable based on even just the questions people asked. Also, all the people who issued edits, either grammar mistakes or actual just things got flipped or just outright mistakes that were made um, in this much content. It's very hard for, you know, two authors to to catch every single mistake. So thank you to everyone who has contributed both in editing as well as just asking questions. Also, again, thank you to uh, Thomas Halverson and Spencer Churchill, who uh, heavily edited the actual uh, text and grammar and English of the book. So anyway, that's it. The book is now available. You can get it at nnfs.io. Again, shipping can take anywhere from one to three weeks, if not possibly even more. We don't really have too many data points at this point. So uh, let us know how long did it take for you to get your book and where you live. Also, when you do get your book, please share images of your book with us on uh, Twitter or via email or, or whatever. Uh, we want to see your books, one, for quality control purposes, but also two, um, it just put a big smile on both myself and Daniel's face to see these books. So um, please do share it with us uh, and let us know what you think. Anyway, that's all for now. Thank you again. Thank you again everyone for your support in this project and i will see you guys in the neural networks from scratch videos which we're going to be starting up very soon for sure in the month of november we should start seeing some releases of new videos so stay tuned for those till next time